Hey YouTube, that's your Knife Guru. We're going to be looking at a folding knife review today. This is the Gerber Bear Grills in the uh, Survival Series. This is called the Scout. I've been carrying this knife uh, on and off for about two weeks. It is a lightweight, I consider a lightweight EDC blade. I have to say though, if they had this available um, with the reputation that Bear Grylls has, um, when I was a Boy Scout, I would definitely say, hey, Dad, um, can you pick that one up for me? Because I think it's pretty darn cool. But uh, I think that's what they're going after for the market. They're going after the uh, Scouts, Boy Scouts in particular. But I, like I said, I've been carrying this on and off for about two weeks. It uh, comes with its Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide, which I think most of their uh, knives come with. And uh, we'll just leave that in the package because I've already been through it with the uh, Ultimate Survival Knife, the fixed blade that I looked at. So we'll take it out of the package, take a look at this. It is a lightweight EDC blade. I brought my scale in here so we could uh, actually weigh it. It is uh, 2.5 ounces on my scale. So it is a lightweight EDC blade. Um, let's do some measurements too while we're at it. Yeah, tape measure. We're looking at a blade length of three and a quarter inches and an overall length of seven and a quarter. So, decent sized blade. Um, pretty fast deploying. Um, I don't know, this sticky rubber kind of gets to you. I'm not not too good at it. I'm used to the uh, real smooth acting, but uh, it's pretty decent. Um, I have a tendency to reach for this right here and I'm uh, thinking about a liner lock. I've been carrying so many knives with liner locks that, or frame locks. I've been keeping, I keep on reaching here and thinking it's that, but it is a lock back design. And uh, let's see if I can do it. There we go. Uh, lock back design, very strong. No play side to side, um, up and down. Very strong blade. It is a partially serrated blade that has a coating and uh, razor sharp out of the box. Very impressed with that. I was I was um, looking at a couple of other reviews and they were saying that they weren't too extre extremely sharp out of the box, but I think this was uh, they did a good job on this. Serrations are in my opinion a little too aggressive but I mean for cutting rope or webbing or something like that I mean that's what you want but uh, I think it would be more I, I, in my opinion I'd rather see just a straight edge rather than the serrations but uh, that's the style so um, you'll see it has the Bear Grylls signature and then Gerber it is a dual thumb stud design um, I am a righty, so I'm used to that. But for the lefties, I mean, for doing it lefty, I'm not very coordinated with that. But uh, it is doable with the cutout there. It is uh, pretty easy for left or right. It has uh, some jimping on the back here, on the spine. Uh, it's somewhat functional, but not extremely functional. This could be a little bit more uh, aggressive. Designs are polymer plastic, and of course the rubberized portion, which is uh, kind of the way they go with all the Survival Series knives. Uh, plastic pommel back here, lanyard hole. Um, does have a nice choil. The uh, jimping carries on down the spine, down to the back spacer, part of the blade, locking mechanism, kind of notched out where the uh, polymer or the plastic is right here. Very comfortable grip, as you can see, fairly, fairly thin. Um, I have fairly large hands and uh, I think they did a good job with it. Like I said though, I think they're like a, they're kind of going after the scouts which in my opinion would be I think a good choice for them something that you're not gonna I mean I know when I was in scouts um, 
they uh, had a tendency to lose their knives and and it was like oh well there goes whatever money but uh, for 25 bucks I think it would be kind of a a nice choice um, let's go to the pocket clip pocket clip is tip down right hand carry only on the pocket clip but it's a very deep deep carry though it goes all the way up so it is uh, I think it'll be a little harder to lose if it's clipped to your pocket so that's I think that's a good design pocket clip of course has the Gerber name on it they are uh, handle scales are and also the pocket clip are also um, attached with um, torque screws so that pivot is adjustable on both sides but it is a deep carry pocket clip which I think is a really good choice but uh, I think it's a good value. I, I think they did a good job with it. Uh, I know a lot of guys aren't too fond of that BG or the Bear Grylls logo. But um, I was thinking more of, like I said, what market they're going after. They're going after that 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 one particular market. But $25, you know, that's like five cups of coffee at Starbucks. So it's not, not too much money. But uh, at my Walmart, when I did the review, or the, or, I'm sorry, the first look on the other knife, um, they only showed three different knives. Well, these were hidden behind the peg of the uh, other knife. I was just happened to look, I said, let me look behind there for some reason. And then this, but this one was actually on, on the peg behind the other one. So a lot of people don't even know it's there. So... I said three different ones at Walmart, but actually they have four different ones at Walmart. But um, I noticed I was going through my uh, listing, and uh, Fred Hart was uh, doing a review on uh, the next model up from this. It's the folder, Ultimate Survival Knife in the folder that doesn't come with a pocket clip, but has the uh, belt pouch, which I saw at Walmart. That was Those are about $30. But... Uh, I think this was a little bit better choice. In my opinion, for uh, what it's used for, lightweight EDC. Uh, any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.